Hello everybody. Welcome to the series called Things You Might Not Have Noticed Before About Old School Magic Cards. In this mini-series I'm going to talk about various things that are going on with the art of magic cards and sometimes the mechanics. So it's very interesting to take a very close look at some of these cards and there are some things that you may have not realized even though you have been playing with those cards for decades. So one of these cards is a Bujafar, personally for me. This is not a really, you know, striking discovery or anything of the sort. But he is actually a leper, as you understand. So he is uh, suffering from the disease. And uh, if you look at him, the image is actually pretty terrifying for a white card, especially, which is supposed to be good and such. But then again, he is suffering but he is contagious, he has this ability which is definitely usually can be seen in black or maybe green, this is poison, this is carrying the disease and uh, his face is falling apart, his eye sockets are almost empty, it's all very creepy, I'm not sure what's going on with his hands but probably he doesn't have any fingers either so that's actually very very scary I would say and I never realized it when I saw this card Back when I was a kid, I usually looked at it from the distance and I actually saw a man who was probably looking some other way and I couldn't actually see that his face and he's obviously trying to hide it in the shadows. So yeah, that's a Bush Jafar. Not a very useful card and maybe uh, you definitely saw it before. I'm just trying to share what I previously hadn't seen. Then we have got <clears throat> Hercules Recall. Uh, this is definitely an extremely beautiful card. I really love the art, I love the luxury of it. Uh, when I was a teenager my attention was uh, obviously drawn to her chest and um, in this chest I still couldn't see this particular creature. Look, there are some eyes in there, it's like the box of Pandora, Pandora's box. And um, I don't actually know what's going on there, but I think that the art for this particular card is definitely amazing. The reprint was just atrocious. How could they have done that? But I understand still that uh, this kind of painting would never make it into modern times. But as old school players, do we actually care? Number three would be Royal Assassin. So. If you look at this guy, what kind of images does he evoke in your mind? I uh, usually think about, again, uh, some kind of Arabian Nights setting, and uh, he has got this kind of, um, maybe somewhat mysterious um, kind of clothes, uh, this robe and such, and uh, he is definitely looking for some people to kill, and... Uh, if you look carefully at this card, you will see the words, and it actually says pub. <laughs> and uh, I think that this is definitely uh, really teleporting you almost from one universe into another, because pub, what is that? It's like some kind of Victorian era uh, guys having fun there, and this assassin from Arabian Nights is standing here. Doesn't really make much sense to me. Also the brick wall, one of the indicators that this is one of the later settings, one of the, I would say, more advanced societies. So that's actually very interesting and um, a little bit, I would say, um, unexpected. So this is what I wanted to share this time with you. Uh, I'm interested in knowing whether you noticed any of these things, uh, because, again, well, when we're just really immersed into playing the game, we don't really uh, look at the art and uh, sometimes we can have some interesting discoveries. If you have any other ideas you would like to share with me and uh, with the viewers, please let me know and maybe I will include them in the future series. I'm definitely going to make it a regular thing, uh, things you have not noticed or may have not noticed before about old school magic cards. Meanwhile, thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.